from your perspective, what are some of the priorities for integrated working in order to address health inequalities? And I'm sorry, it's a big question, but let's go in order. Maybe Lars first. I'm very happy to take this away. Thanks, Victoria. Uh, excited <laughs> to be here and, and share the thoughts. Uh, we as, as pharma companies, and I speak, of course, for my own company, Bayer, but I also speak a little bit for the industry here. We are very keen on driving it forward for the patients and ensuring we have the right access uh, for the patients and that across the country and not just in, in certain areas. Uh, we have in the past uh, partnered in many situations with many NHS organizations to try and drive uptake, to try and drive patient identification, to try and drive better pathways, data-based uh, uh, pathways uh, into the system. Uh, there's uh, uh, plenty of examples of how we have been engaging and driving things forward together. Now, um, we, we, we face a situation though in the UK where we are slow in uptaking innovation, uptaking new medicine altogether. We have a situation where in the first year after launch, if in comparable countries, 100 people would get the treatment, in the UK it's 20. And that gets better over time, but by year five, it's still a gap. So we reach a 70% and not 100% yet. Um, so that is a fundamental issue that we have, um, and, and that is uh, aggravated by then this uptake not even being equal across the country. Um, we believe very much that the ICS, the integrated care setting and, and the, the new structures that we create there are a very good opportunity to try and overcome some of the hurdles that are there for this uptake because it's plentiful. There's many, there's not a single reason that uh, contributes to these gaps. And that's probably true for the overall uptake as much as for the health and qualities. Uh, but we know from the partnership work that we do that it depends on the engagement on the ground of the individuals who do the work on the ground to really change the picture. And now we get with the integrated care setting, we get a slightly bigger and more encompassing units and the responsibility for driving this forward could be better personalized and better made clear in the path forward than it, and then in the current uh, situation where it's partially too dispersed to really have an impact. So that's my hope. And that's certainly the commitment from industry. We are very much here to engage and partner. We need the right partners to drive this forward and to scale our efforts. Thank you.